we are going to the Glebe Mine in New Brunswick. This is a fairly well-known spot. There is a path beaten down here through the bushes. Of course, here uh, in late May, they're still uh, only budding for the leaves. So visibility is great. But uh, yeah, if you just follow the path down here, uh, we've already arrived. And uh, yeah, we come across the added here to the left. So here it is. She's a beauty. Beautiful uh, mossy covered entrance. Classic. This one uh, allegedly goes for several hundred feet with lots of uh, branching and interconnections. This of course is completely unexplored to us, so we'll be going in here uh, not knowing what's around any of the turns. So let's go in and uh, have a look. In we go. You want me to take first? All right, they're ahead of me as usual. All right, she's nice and big in here, pretty darn cool. We do have some uh, ice that's remained from the winter that hasn't thawed yet on the floor. We're stashing our bags here near the beginning. Keep them out of the rain and snowfall outside. A little more ice here and there. Again, there's looking back to the mouth, just to give you perspective. Here's the walls up to the ceiling. Comments? Yeah, we do too. Uh, we got a left here that uh, goes down, downward. All right, so, oh wow. So there's a left branching tunnel that actually goes downhill, probably a 15 degree angle, and then straight we continue level. And then there's another left. And there's another left. And speaking of ice, here's a nice interesting pointy formation. It's hard to photograph it properly. Ooh, do not get impaled. Okay, so we're gonna continue down the more level passageway to the right for now. We'll come back to this one, heading off to the, uh, the left downhill. Yeah, we come up here to uh, quite bouldery floor with lots of stuff collapsed that is chunked off the ceiling and so on. The boys are saying, don't touch the walls. Probably a good idea. So here's this other left downhill passage, the second one in. Like I say, we're still going along the right side uh, straight away. And again, there's some more uh, cool ice formations there that are still uh, intact. We won't be seeing these in episodes later in the season because it'll get too warm and these will be gone. So we might as well document them now. Very pretty. Superman Fortress of Solitude type stuff. <laughs> so they're continuing down the right side straight level passageway. We'll consider this the main drag, I guess. This is probably the main haulage tunnel, but we'll uh, try and make our way, whoa, through all of this uh, bedlam here. There is uh, lots of animal shit there. And it's Boulder City through here. Holy crap. And again, like uh, these chunks are just waiting to come out of the wall. We'll just not touch anything and slowly make our way along. A lot of uh, cracks and chunks of the boulders here to the side. Is that a little nook in there? Yeah, drift. Oh, a drift? Drift. Okay, so we have a passageway going off to the right of the main haulage tunnel. Okay, here's that passage to the right. The boys have already gone in there. Oh, there's a little mouse. Oh, here he goes. Little mouse, little mouse. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. Okay, let's head into this right passageway. Like I said, they're already in here. Uh, we'll forget about the mice. Wow. 
It's hard to not wash this out with the light, but uh, there's cracks that go way up in there. The bouldery floors have uh, settled down a bit, but this opens up into quite, quite a large drift. And he is announcing a shaft. Filled shaft. A filled shaft, okay. So this is kind of like a, a larger than normal room. Probably an eight foot ceiling and 15 feet wide and 30 feet long. There's looking back the drift we came in here. Okay, at the end of this big room, there's a uh, like a big rock pile um, going off to the left there, but there is passageway beyond it. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. There are uh, roots coming from the surface, breaking into the mine like so. This seemed like a very shallow mine in relative to the surface. The roots come down right through the cracks from the surface. They literally hang in midair. Well, seeking water. All right, coming around this rock pile, this is what we see. There's a, a completely dilapidated and rotted timber there, but they found a room up in here. Okay, here's the room on the other side of the rock pile. And a uh, little bit of debris. There's a timber on the floor, some rusty pail-like thing over there. I situated myself here in the back corner just to get a point of view. There's the, uh, the rock pile in the center, which we came around that corner there. Okay, they said past the pile, it goes in uh, branches again twice. So there's uh, one passageway there in the center of the screen and there over here peeking in another one to the right. And I've noticed there's uh, there's string strewn through the mine. This little bitty bit of string, and it's everywhere. That's usually laid by explorers or maybe geologists or biologists that are studying bats or something to do with the mine, that if they ever lost their light, they can sort of feel their way back to the entrance by following the string. So this is the... Uh, of the two that we found here, we're going to head down the one to the immediate right. Fallen rotted timbers on the floor. And it goes. Dead snake. Dead snake? Yep, yeah. anybody want to do mouth to mouth? Poor dead snake. Got in here, never had a chance to get out. Okay, up from the snake, the drift continues. And, uh, Looks like a, a fall through here of mud from, say, the surface, maybe? I just woke up. Oh, yeah. yeah if you look up, uh, a lot of stoping goes up through there. So from the other side, here's that mud hump with all the uh, trash coming down from above and forming a pile on the floor there in the middle of the drift and that timber. So if we turn around here, Oh, we have an actual confirmed end. The first end we've reached thus far. So we're, ha we're heading back to that intersection. We'll take the, uh, the second passage that we left behind the first time. And here it is. Heading around the corner here. Some timbers on the floor. And it just goes into the distance. There's that uh, string on the floor. Another drift, four feet tall, max. Another drift? Yeah, four feet tall, max. Okay. Maybe three and a half. A baby drift up ahead, they say. Let's keep going.
Oh, wow. So that's a confirmed end up in there, yeah, that little baby drift. Six feet in front of me. Okay. That's it. Now we're going uphill. More timbers. Ah, the roots from the surface again. There they are. My goodness, and the drift continues again, takes a full 180 and heads downward to the left there. Is the passage here to the right? Uh, end. This is an end, okay. Yeah, so here's that other end. So it just goes off there again into a little tunnel that uh, gets really small very quickly, but heads off there about 25 feet into the distance. Okay, they're heading down this uh, passage around the corner. Let's see where this goes. Well, and this heads slightly downhill. It's probably a 10, 12 degree drop as we go. Beautiful. Confirmed in. Confirmed end, they're shouting. All right, here is the, uh, the end. It just suddenly ends. There's a little bit of a... Drainage hole. Yeah, drainage, because I noticed there's some active water here on the floor. A little bit of water flow. Well, All right, on the... Uh, the other side of this rock pile that went to the ceiling, we discovered there's actually a little crawl space passageway here behind it. So he's gonna check it out. Okay, here's up over that uh, hump through the little crawl space. They've already gone down in there. What are you reporting down in there? What's that? What's down in there? Uh, there's a straight passage about 20 feet and then there's uh, about a five foot left. Okay. I'm not going to take the camera down in there, but as you can see, this pile that goes to the ceiling goes all the way up there in the middle of the room. Okay, we're making our way back to the main haulage tunnel, the main passage. Look at the breakage down in there. Okay, we're back at the main haulage tunnel, as we'll call it, with all the big boulders we have to navigate over. Yeah, back here at the main haulage tunnel, uh, he's heading back to, you can see the uh, the entrance, the, uh, the portal up there in the distance. But just to confirm this, uh, past these big boulders here, that goes down there to an end. That is an end that you see in the distance. Okay, we're here at the uh, the second most left turn, that downhill slope that we met early on on the way in. And if you remember, here's the, uh, the ice formations that we took close-ups of. As our, we're, we're working our way back, we're gonna take a trip down this, uh, the second left passageway that we passed by on the way in. So just ducking on by him. I'm being told it is a confirmed end. So down here, yeah, it kind of takes a curve. And then, that's all she wrote. And uh, here is the left passage, the very first one that we hit, that went on a uh, 15, 20 degree downhill slope. What do you see? Turns a corner and it ends. It ends? Yeah, it ends. All right, another offshoot that ends. Let's work our way down through here. A little bit easier for me to walk with the camera. Whoa. <laughs> Less boulders. Well, this goes for a good uh, 60, 70 feet.
So they're standing there on a mound here at the end, and it kind of just, does it go up? Stopes up. Oh, it stopes up. Okay. Two feet wide, ten feet tall, four feet wide. There is the, uh, the stope that goes up at the very end into the ceiling. Good 10, 12 feet above our heads. Yeah. All right, so that kind of ends all of the drifts and passageways. Now we just go back to the mouth. The Fortress of Solitude. Doing some uh, well, too bad creative photography. A, you, uh, Sorry. <laughs> too bad we didn't, you didn't have a diffuser on that. Yeah, stick a flashlight in the icicle and amazing shots. Okay, heading back outdoors. We emerge. The boys are already out. We'll emerge back to nature. Oh, there we go. So that ends the, uh, our visit to the Glebe Mine. Very extensive, much more impressive than I thought it was gonna be uh, here in New Brunswick. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.